We're here with Paul Sujimoto, the Paul Sujimoto, a designer at K-Bar that does not get enough recognition, but he has worked to the bone all the time and he's got some new stuff here at K-Bar to show us. So Paul, what do you have for us? Thank you, Joe. Well, we want to start out with a new product that we're coming out with the, in the K-Bar line. It's called the Combat Kukri. This is really cool. How it, long is this? This is eight inches long. Wow. And it is a shortened down uh, version of our our regular heavy heavy kukri and it's going to be with the uh, k-bar handle and knob and an underguard and it is ambidextrous it's got molly compatible and you can do it left or right and it is for soldiers for close quarter combat and for some some heavy duty uh, field work also wow this is really really cool i like how compact it is as well it's got a lot of weight for it for chopping and you can probably mess up some uh, people who are trying to give you a bad time as well, huh? That's yeah, cool. There's enough belly for, for slicing and uh, enough down point for uh, still stabbing. And uh, and there's enough weight forward for still doing a lighter bushcraft. So it, it, we're thinking it'll be a good addition to our own. Awesome. Good stuff. I like the size. While we're on bent blades, the next Becker product Ooh. is the... BK4 Machax, and if for those who are aware or not aware, is the Machax was Ethan's first knife. Yeah, number many, one, many right? Ago. And uh, this was his combination machete and axe, and uh, we are reintroducing it. It's been out of the, the Becker line for five years, but it's, it's time to be reintroduced. So it's a uh, 316 thick, epoxy powder coated. Wow. Um, it's got weight forward again, so you can. It's a good chopper slasher. Uh, it's also uh, neat. It's got enough a recurve in there, so you can use it as a, a, a spoke shave or for shaving purposes. And uh, again, it'll be uh, a very good addition to his line. Excellent. The the sheath is again ambidextrous, plus it does have uh, Maui compatible, and it's got a swivel to accommodate on the on the hip and also the bend handle too. Excellent, excellent. So it can move either way with that bend handle. That must be hard sheath to design. That's well, that's interesting stuff, man. That's it's cool. Our, our sheaths for Ethan usually go through uh, five to 20 renditions before they <laughs> come up to it. We gotta keep them happy. So what else has Ethan, Ethan uh, been up to recently? The big, the big news. We'll go say hi to Ethan later, just in case. The big news is that uh, the, the project name of these things has been called the Tweeners. Um, what, uh, the, the proper name is called the BK-15, 16, and 17, mm -hmm. and these are small knives, the smaller versions. So the 15 is the BK-5 uh, fist design magnum camp that has been shrunken down. The BK-16 is the, is the uh, companion, and the BK-17 is a clip point, like wow. 12, 17. Now, I, th I think a lot of the, I think both of these will be real good sellers, but I think those BK2 fans, they they're going to love this. I mean, yeah, it's, yes. is that an eighth of an inch or? That's a uh, 165. 165. Now, you also notice is that the powder coat and the etching I the stamping that. is going to be slightly different. Uh, as the blades have gotten uh, bigger and the stamps have gotten more complex, the, uh, the stamping operation uh, has a tendency to do certain things and distort the blade so we've decided to uh, to go with laser etching so we eliminate distortion and bend blades and also the powder coating uh, is going to be a more of a crinkle powder coat I like it it kind of gives a little bit more a quality look to it and the other thing we want to do is, is hard sort to of keep this slightly separated from the k bar which we'll use the traditional stamps and the smoother powder coat ah, I understand. so we, we're always trying to put a little bit of separation the handles will be uh, molded uh, instead of grivery. They're being made in the States, so they're going to be Zytel. Excellent, excellent. So excellent. this is all going to be made, made in USA product, and it comes not only with black handles, but I'm going to have throw in a pair of brown handles, and it will be very compatible. Uh, it'll be a brown very similar to the darker straps. Oh, so you're going to be able to have a brown handle with this? Your choice. Cool, cool, cool. The uh, These will be ready in March. March? Yeah, so they're ready to rock and roll. Right here, man. Get on the internet. The uh, uh, Cordura fiber sheath, and uh, very stout, very uh, Maui compatible also. So Interesting we stuff. We do some nice things with that. Awesome. We wanted to keep them shrunk, but still have Ethan's look. Yeah, I mean, man, these, this feels pretty good in the hand. I can't wait to try this out. This is a nice knife. 
It's very thin. It looks like you could do some damage to some fish too. Very, you know, the the, the absolute genius of Jerry Fist uh, design is that it's a, a knife that will do a lot of things yeah, very well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's just a very, very well thought out design. On the BK-14, we had a, a collaboration between uh, Jeff Randall and Mike Perrin of SE Knives and mm -hmm. Andy Becker. So we took the BK-11 blade and the uh, SE Azula handle and sort of morphed them. Uh, great, doing very well for both of us, but we had a lot of uh, requests for handle. So we awesome. came up with some molded handles and we're going to sell it as a, as a package so you can get black and or orange. Plus a set of screws, and this will be a very good price point. We're, we're thinking ten dollars. Oh man, that's yeah. fantastic! I can't wait to see that on my uh, my Escobar at home because sometimes it's hard to find when you leave it in the dirt or something like that. Yeah. So putting the orange, that'll be easy. So uh, yeah, there was enough feedback that we we decided, yeah, what the heck, let's go. Cool. Last, last but oh, not nice. least, is our our latest uh, zombie knife uh, design. And this is modeled after an old World War II Army Air Force. Uh, machete called the Aussie machete and it was for cutting out of cockpits and, and uh, uh, steel shells of the airplanes and so basically what we did is we took this World War II design added it to uh, our zombie handles and it's called the chopstick and it's great for chopping things and destroying things and coconuts and zombies and all of that good stuff. Awesome and I noticed there's a little fulcrum down here too or yeah, something. That's, that's what we call the bird's beak and it's for several things if you're doing a lot of chopping your hands will slide down there and oh, it will wow. open, so it won't slide That's off. That's a very smart addition. And, but it also still gives you the ability to swing forward and chop on it. And if you're in uh, a situation, you can use it for hooking things and, and, and catching things. Cool. It will come in the, the typical zombie knife sheet. And we have big, huge stuff sacks so you can stuff a lot of different things. Very, and very again, good. you'll come with a, a set of black handles so that if you don't like the the, uh, the, the green handles, you can be a little more conservative with black. I like the green handles. I'm going to yeah, stay on mine. We're, we're finding out that toxic green is the new blaze orange. <laughs> Everyone likes the, the It's this year's orange. new pink, huh? Well, did you have some folders that you wanted to show us too? Oh, yeah. I saw that you had uh, you had your own designs in there, so we got to get see some uh, sewage well, dude here. We had some real low price point knives that we had a couple of years ago and we made them out of aluminum scales and uh, sold for very little and uh, when that run ran out we just decided to discontinue. Well one of our vendors came up with some knives that looked very nice and still gave us the proper price points. So we came up, we reintroduced it, it was uh, stainless steel bolsters, 420J2 blade and G10 oh, man, uh, I like that. handles and it gives you a very uh, Nice looking, high quality knife for a very low price point. Good. So we've got uh, we've got four knives. There's a Warren Cliff style in there too. There's another one floating around in here someplace. And so we will we will reintroduce those also. Excellent, excellent. Last but not least, we have for our zombie fans we have a uh, a metal sign which is a, a good point of purchase. Uh, uh, display for the, for our dealers, but we figure most of them are going to probably end up in man caves someplace. Oh so, yeah. <laughs> so and I think all the, I know my 11 year old son just loves his. So you know that's probably going to be in, in in the in kids kids rooms or man caves. Awesome. Well, I, I I can see that as a welcome addition to my little office area. Well, thanks so much, Paul. We really appreciate Thank it. You, thanks Joe. for showing us all this new stuff. We appreciate everything that you guys do for us as far as getting the word out. And, Excellent. Uh, we'd like to thank all of our fans for buying K-Bar. We've had a very good year, and we want to continue bringing products that people will enjoy. Cool. Well, this is Joe Flowers for Equip to Endure. If you're not always prepared, you're never prepared.